Hey guys, well I've been a bit busy uh, fiddling with the circuit as usual. Uh, all the coils are now hooked up in parallel, by the way, um, and there's about 650 turns on each uh, each coil. Uh, another thing I've done is uh, just sort of make out. I've added a ring around the rotor, um, which has probably got about two millimeter clearance from the rotor itself, and that basically just helps cut down on the wind resistance. Um, I also tried using a five transistor circuit, but for some reason it's still working better with just one transistor. I mean, it's drawing it's drawing over an amp now, and uh, transistor still stays cool. So don't know what, what's up with that really. Must be the fast switching. Um, and also, don't know if you can see where are they. Anyway, somewhere in there, there's uh, oh, there we go, it's down there. There's um. I've hooked up two LEDs to the trigger circuit. Basically what I wanted to try and do was uh, restrict multiple pulsing. And uh, if you've seen the inductor in the trigger circuit video that I've done, you'll see that would do it because that would uh, basically move the uh, move the pulse further down the waveform and that would suppress the second pulse coming in. Uh, but I figured it would probably work better with LEDs because then you wouldn't have fun with the resonance effect between the, triggers, uh, the trigger coil and the, um, the inductor coil. And yeah, the LEDs work well. It does um, does what I wanted to do. So now the coils are only trigger when the um, when the magnets are generating just over 1.5 volts. So um, only problem with that is I have to turn this really fast to get it going. It starts on top of pulse thing. Just wait a bit. There we go. Now, normally without the LEDs, it would be pulsing all the way up to the scalar south, but um, the LEDs are actually um, suppressing many of the pulses. So we're on double pulses at the, be at the beginning. Showing on almost half an amp. Single pulse thing should be coming up about now. There we go. Serious acceleration on that. Exactly one amp, 8,500. like about 8,500 is top speed and that's possibly the fastest SSG I've ever seen I mean that's over 700 Hertz the outer perimeter of the rotor is going at over 180 kilometers an hour I think noisy as hell